Rockies hosting the Reds. The Reds are plus 110 on the money line. The Rockies are minus 130. The over under 12 runs. The Reds getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you would win. And the Rockies laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Now, neither one of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. And there isn't very much pitching stats. I believe this is Williamson's first start. And I know that it says that there was five innings pitched for Anderson, but I do not think that they were actually in a start. I believe that was a whole bunch of relief attempts. So I believe this is both of these pitchers' first starts of the year. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 9-1. and one. The home team's on a two-game winning streak. These teams are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The favorite winning these games by two runs or more, laying a run and a half, is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the game they played against each other yesterday. The over has hit in their last three. The over is 7-3. and three, And the under 12 is 5-4-1. and one. The game they played yesterday, the Rockies won 9-8. The game before that, the Reds won 10-0. The game before that, the Rockies won 8-4. And the game before that, the Reds won 3-2. In their last handful of games overall, the Reds are 2-2 two two in their last four. They've dropped their last two games. 11 runs, 11 runs, 4 runs, and 17 runs. 7 runs and a win, 6 runs and a win, 1 run and a loss, 8 runs and a loss. For the Rockies, they are also 2-2 two two in their last four. They've won their last two games. 9 runs, 11 runs, 4 runs, 17 runs. 3 runs and a loss, 4 runs and a loss, 4 runs and a win, 9 runs and a win. I don't think that this is going to be a low-scoring game, especially with... I don't want to say like two newbies, but with two guys who haven't had a lot of appearances and a lot of uh, reps. So I think this will definitely be an over game. And I don't think that either one of these pitchers is probably going to go more than four innings. So we'll see what happens with the bullpen. I'm going to take the Rockies with the money line. I'm going to take the Rockies laying the runs and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.